is November 14th, about 10 o'clock in the morning, and we're taking our little drive through town in Quartzsite here. Check it out, see what's going on today. Uh, I want to thank all of our new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, now's your chance. Uh, we're going to start out here. We're going to go through La Posa South. See how things look there. Okay, just turn it in. Got it all seal coated through here nice. Flag is up, so the office is open. Oh, there's a lot more people here than there was. It's been a couple weeks now since we've been able to do a video. A lot more people here now. It's getting to the point where Wi-Fi is getting really, really slow. So if you go to movies or internet or whatever, you know, sometimes you got good internet speeds, sometimes it's just slow. really slow. Yeah, there's definitely a lot more people. And you know, it's still early. Wait until after the holiday holidays here and people will really, really be crowding in. I think that's where the, the next big rush is going to be. Probably after Thanksgiving, Christmas. It's kind of different little stages of people, you know. A lot of the full timers come up here as soon as it starts getting a little, come down here, as soon as it starts getting a little bit cold, you know, they start heading for warmer weather. Then you get a lot of the people, you know, grandkids and families and stuff, they wait a little bit later, you know, and they come down after the holidays. Then you get some that just come for the big tent show and all the going on there. Then some come for the RTR. So it's different, different groups that come down, spend time. People are kind of coming and going all the time. Well, this road is really a plus. The, um, it, it was well needed. The old blacktop road through here, the big old pot potholes and everything else, it'd swallow a camper right up. And they took the blacktop out and it was so dusty. Um, it's, it's pretty nice now. We're coming up to the dump station up here. You see the volunteer working out here to make sure people got their their permits. You can't dump here at the dump station if you don't have a permit. They'll turn you around and send you out of here. So if you're gonna come up and dump, make sure you got your permit. Water fill areas, they look pretty, pretty slow. Jeez, look at all the campers back in there, all over. Unreal. A lot has changed in the last couple of weeks. We'll come through here and then we'll we'll cross 95 and go into Tyson Wash and run through there, see how they're doing with the water, sewer and stuff over there. Then we'll probably take the back road into uh, La Posa North or West. I don't know if we'll head to La Posa North or not, but um, and we'll do our little drive through town. Okay, right here. 
by the little cactus here. This is where the end of the blacktop, their seal coat is. Oh, little cactus, boy, they got a crowd out there. Lit cactus. What? Huh? Lit cactus. Oh, the cactus, little cactus. You know, in spots it already looks like more people than last year. We're going to cut through here and we'll go up by Q Camp. Is slowed down. We have all these users on the same, you know, fighting for the same internet. Carolina people complaining that fast net's been down. We have Verizon and Verizon different parts of the day is really slow. Traffic's really picking up in town, too. You know, we've been here well, over over a year str straight, you know, we we didn't leave for the summer, we've been just been here, so we know what it's like in the summer, what the traffic's like, and what the weather's like, kind of watch the whole thing change. Yes, it is. It's really nice weather now. It's a little bit cool at night, but I think we've only turned the furnace on one time. It warms up pretty quick once the sun comes out. So. Sleep with a big heavy blanket. It's all good. Plagues out here last year than there is this year. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, last year seemed like there's flags all over. I wonder what's up with that. This is just one small area that we come through and drive through and been watching, you know. And and this this camping and the desert and stuff. I mean, it, it just goes on for miles and miles and miles. So I mean, this this is just a small portion of the people that are out here. I don't know what what they say. You know, they like a million, two million, a million to two million people come out here and get away from the winter. Well, I can definitely tell these roads have taken a pounding since we got out here last two. Okay, we go 
off to the right here and that'll bring us down in through by Q camp. If we stay to the left that'd bring us back to the back to the main road to get out of here. parked up next to one of them little smart cars the other day. I mean, we, we got a little two-door Jeep that's small. And that little smart car made this little Jeep look like a semi. I mean, it was just unreal comparison in sizes. Here's an old camper looking at me. That is neat. Spent a lot of time restoring that. Yeah, a little pavilion there. I don't know, I think you have to call up the Yuma office or whatever. And schedule with them to hold an event or something there. Seemed like somebody tried it last year. I don't know, they got shut down because they didn't go through the proper channels. Okay, we're coming back up to the bridge here now connect us up with the main the main run road through here see how much of the seal coat they put down on Tyson Wash. Boy, that sure makes it a lot nicer. It took them a while to get it done. But I suppose, you know, it's, it's so hot here in the summer months, I suppose that blacktop and stuff, I, I suppose it never set up, you know, as hot as it is. They probably had to wait for cooler weather. Okay, we're coming up to the intersection here of 95. And we're just going to shoot directly across the road. Tyson Wash. And they have a flag up on this side too, so this office is open. Last year it was just one side of the road or the other. don't look like they did any of the seal code here so just La the South so far I don't know maybe maybe La the North and West maybe they got seal code maybe they didn't I don't know yet and we're gonna take off we'll go down this way and go by the water and dump station and see what's going on if anything. Yeah, we'll 
turn right in here. We They got all the red fence up here yet, so. Still not open for business. But this is the water fill area. I figured this would have been up and running by now. It's a shame they put all that money and work into it and not even have it opened up for people. We'll go up to the dump site and let you see what's going on there too. I can see the fence up so you have to take your turds somewhere else now for the short time anyway. Well, it's going to be nice when they get it done. Maybe they're going to seal coat all this in here too. It looks like they've done something with the road out here. I mean, it looks it looks like the road surface is a little bit different of a color. You know, like maybe they just, you know, put some gravel out here or something like they might be planning on planning on doing some work with it. There's getting to be a few more people on this end now. It's fun coming through here, you know, and seeing all the different campers and about every different kind of camper you could think of. Everything from homemade to antique, to, you know, to motor homes and class A's and stuff, you know, worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. And then all the you know the the tents and it's just neat to see how everybody has their their little camp set up and stuff it gives you ideas you know what to do with your site just a lot of different ideas we're always checking that out you know we're we're full-time RVers so I don't get a bunch of dust in his face. That's how he turned off in his face. Okay, that's good. I 
I've been really looking at a lot of these little van campers and stuff like that. You know, we started out and we looked at Class A's and fifth wheels and all these great big huge campers and, and stuff. And um, we ended up just with a 30 foot travel trailer. And it's getting to the point even that's too big now. I'd like to have something smaller. It's, you kind of got to ask yourself, you know, how much you're going to be sitting in one spot. You know, it's if you're just going to go somewhere and sit for six months. You know, it's it's nice to have that size, but we're kind of getting to the point where we want to do more moving. You know, and jump from one spot to the next, and it's just a little easier with the with a smaller rig. You know little cheaper on fuel you get into a lot a lot more of the smaller state parks or you know the smaller sites we, we just don't need that great big area or, you know what would be fun for me is if we had like a little travel trailer we could pull with a jeep we could take off and go down the jeep trails and heck we could set the camper right up on the jeep trail out somewhere and go out exploring and off-roading or something. start seeing a lot more campers up here pretty quick. campsites. We don't even have the room for all the decorations a lot of these people put up. Okay, well, the post of West, they got blacked up, it just starts here. Well, seal coat. That's where they spray black cap down on the ground and then put the little rocks over the top of it. Hold the little rocks in place. And that does good. It does real good. So I think what we'll do is we'll come out of here and we'll go toward town. And then we'll go to like the Tyson Showgrounds and 
take a drive through there and the back way in kind of up by Love's gas station and stuff through there and then we'll come down Main Street and we'll come from the from the west to the east and you can just see what there is for traffic out there in Main Street and what it looks like out there now Flags up here too. and after that we'll just probably call it a day So as you can see, the traffic's picking up. Camper after camper coming in, you know. A few people out there in La Posta North. out on a lot of a lot of the season already though they spent a lot of money fixing the place up you think they'd want to open the doors okay Tyson Wells showgrounds there's a wooden sign maker he was on the other side of the highway I believe last year Got all them sheds and stuff they're selling over there now. All kinds of little knickknacks around, rocks. We just stopped at the ATV place over there and bought some new flags and stuff from them guys. He's got all kinds of ATV stuff and dust masks and tools and I don't know, you name it, he's got it. There's a lot of stuff there. Pet supplies, game store, that's just a blast in there. We stopped in there and we bought that game. Quartzite-opoly. Quartzite-opoly, yep. Yeah, we've been playing that every once in a while. Tyson Wash. About the only thing flowing through here now is four-wheelers. It's kind of like a little highway for side-by-sides back and forth, you know, between the campgrounds and stuff. For a lot of them anyways. Kind of get you through town. Oh yeah, a lot of the rock shops there have been... Last time we come through here, I didn't think that rock shop was open. He is now, so that's something new. Yeah, they had the cones down. Now they got them. Oh, they just switched lanes out here in the 10. So westbound, they still got road construction. Boy, they had some huge traffic backups. That's eastbound. That's eastbound, yeah. That's, I'm sorry. I'm screwed up here. That's why I got my little helper in the car. You 
usually you see people out here. Oh yeah, there's ones. They don't stand in the corner here anymore. I guess they sit. But he's working that cardboard out there. a little bit different, don't it? All the flags up everywhere. Businesses start opening up. McDonald's, $16 an hour starting wages. That sign's there all the time. It's like a permanent fixture there. They, they always got that sign up. I don't know what the deal is. <coughs> You go in there, they don't need any help, but they get the sign up all the time saying they do. Boy, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, there's a flag. Um, that's not the kite. It was kind of a kite thing. I thought maybe that's where they are. The people with the kites, I haven't seen them up here yet. I don't know if you guys remember the place there on 95, kind of right on the corner by 10 and 95, the intersection there is a place out there that had all the big kites and flags and stuff. Every time you went by there, you know, it's up there flying them. I haven't seen them around yet this year. and stuff so there's there's a lot of a lot of things to do around town now you come here in the summer and it's just nothing absolutely nothing
So we try to, um, we've been trying to put out a video every week just to kind of show the amount of people that are coming into town and we've started a, a few months ago and showed what it was like, you know, it's just an empty town and to, I don't know, it, you know, slowly keep growing and growing until it just gets to the point where it's nuts. How the desert fills up with people and the town and the businesses fill up and waiting line waiting lines start to form in the grocery stores and post office and what so that's kind of what we do is just kind of show you how the and where the crowd is coming from or where they're going or, you know, what's happening. Uh, that's a nice RV park there. sign here. side here this little road here to the left that's where the library library is on the right hand side that's the staging area for people that go on the Arizona Peace Trail and then right straight ahead of us here's the the town park got a couple old Air Force jets out there on display and the park, it's got the, the skateboard park and, you know, the playground equipment and stuff for the kids, you know, the smaller kids. I don't know, a volleyball net, I guess. Basketball hoop. Little picnic tables with, you know, shade coverings and slides. And all different kinds of things out there. And here is the dog park. And that building right ahead of us here, there's restrooms there for, for people. And now the dog park, there's three different, three different fenced in areas for your small, medium, and large dogs. So there's plenty of room in there for everybody. Always a lot of people there. It's a pretty good sized area too, so your dog can get out there and get a good run, you know, bring a Frisbee or a ball or something and, you know, turn them loose, let them get some exercise. And we'll go up here and see if there's anybody flying the airplanes out here today. It's kind of windy, probably. Yeah, it's a little windy. They probably aren't, but we'll come up here and take a look. And 
Cecilia's garden and disc golf back there. Here's the little flying RC flying field. Nobody out here. Some days there's there's just a bunch of people out here flying in planes. Little planes, big planes, there's all different kinds. They're doing loop-de-loops and somersaults and all kinds of, oh no. I couldn't do that kind of stuff on purpose anyways. But it's a pretty nice area for them. I think Thursday nights they, um, they fly at night. And I haven't made it out here to see that yet, but I guess that's something to see. So there it is. And like I say, we try to we try to do a video every week. Just take our run around town and as the pap, you know, as the people and stuff pack in. And so um, about done for done for today. We'll wrap it all up here. And thanks for watching, and don't forget, you know. Um, Subscribe if you want and kind of see what happens, you know, in the next week or two, or, you know. We'll have more videos coming up. So, thanks for watching. Bye.